Taylor Watson, Ken, and then there's one more person on. Can you announce yourself? This is Hippie Hacker. Hey, Hippie. Uh, hey, Chris. <laughs> and then I think we also have uh, Lucina connecting from the Volk thing, which is confusing. Hi, I'll rename me. <laughs> um, no, I don't. I don't care. But since a lot of um, you are contractors for the CNCF, then I, I definitely think we can get a supermajority <laughs> vote for whatever I want to ram through. I mean, basically, I'd love to just get 10 or 15 minutes of your time, Ken, um, to think about that reference architecture. Yeah. And, and I'll go ahead and lay my cards on the table ahead of time, which is I'd really rather not make significant changes to it. I, I think the documents work great. I think the landscape's working great. I, I don't by any means mean to claim, oh, this is like obviously the correct reference architecture and should never be changed. But it's just not clear to me that some meaningful amount of work is gonna move things around and then suddenly everybody's gonna say, oh, now it's clearer. Right, no, I agree. Okay, well, um, my I, ideal then, I, I guess, would be to just try and reach consensus on a few of the kind of noisier categories uh -huh. um, that uh, sort of have too much junk shoved together in them and maybe look at breaking them out, um, but, uh, but otherwise not making a ton of changes. Right. But it, if there's sort of things that you feel are broken and you wanna go back and fix now, this would definitely be the time to do it. No, I, don't, I didn't think there's anything really broken um, I think some groupings might help clear things up a little bit. But yeah, we should we should definitely have that okay. be one of our first action items, Dan, to to do that. And I think we could probably. Um, do you have the the static landscape in front of you? Um, I can pull it up real quick. Let me just paste it into Zoom here, um, in case if you don't. But I, I would love to just sort of get your initial reactions what some of the things are that you think are confusing. I just click on the current version from get, right? Um, yeah, exactly. Are you there? Do you yeah, have it floated? Okay. Bothered. So, um, so yeah, time. let me go ahead and just, again, sort of put my cards on the table. And I, I'm specifically focused around what are the biggest categories? Because mm -hmm. something like, um, I don't know, container registries has a bunch of stuff in it, but they're all container registries. It doesn't seem to me like it needs it's tons of category. work on it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, so like a few ones like database and data warehouse, is really big, but there's not an obvious breakup to me. There's not, it's not like clear that you can just say, oh, well, let's do SQL versus no SQL, or let's do clustered versus non-clustered. But there's so many sort of grays in there that I, I think that category probably needs to stay relatively close to where it is. Um, the, the one that Chris is eager to add is he has a new category he wants to do on chaos engineering. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, you know, we're looking to start up this working group around it if we get the, that needs to get scheduled for a TOC vote. And I'm, I argued to him that that would be a natural thing to put under the observability and analysis because the right. chaos engineering tends to go across all the other um, categories. Um, so that would be one new one. And then as I think I, in my email, my sort of biggest complaint or unhappiness right now is with service management yep. um, with the title secure images because I don't think that's quite describes what it is mm -hmm. and then um, with the three categories at the bottom left host management tooling infrastructure automation 
and private cloud yep. all seem a little, um, those don't seem like the right three groupings for you. I agree. Nope. I, that's, those are the areas I was looking at as well. Um, okay. I guess uh, maybe we could start on the service management. So we had that email exchange and I suggested breaking out RPC as being a separate category. Um, I'm curious if you feel like RPC, remote procedure calls, would go under orchestration and management, or do they belong up in app definition and development? Yeah, I was, I was thinking orchestration and management, but now that you mentioned app definition and development, I could see what RPC would be beneficial. What's strange about it is that people use RPC both for their application and it's a um, functionality built into Docker and Kubernetes and lots of other stuff. Right. Um, and again, I, I don't mean to imply there's any, any magic here in no, those. It's, it's in something this. we definitely try to figure out, right? So RPC definitely fits somewhere. It's a question of where. Um, and which of those would you pull out into the RPC category? So the it's Apache Thrift, Avro, gRPC, and Netflix Ribbon are the four RPC um, projects, as far as I can tell. I sent an email, oh, it's 12 days ago. Let me yep, see if I can. I remember looking at it. Uh, how to reorganize service management. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what I pointed out is that there's a group of ones that are sort of traditional load balancers. So yep. this is sort of one of my many questions, which is, is a load balancer different than a service mesh? Right. And, is the, and do we call out proxies differently than load balancers? Yeah, I mean, I, I see proxies as load balancers, but right. I, but service meshes are both service meshes and load balancers. And load balancers. Right. I mean, I just, yeah. Um, um, can you hold me just one second for me? And Lucina, I don't know if you could, I'll be right back, actually. Sure. Okay. Hi guys, I'm sorry about that. Um, so let's see, I was looking for CNCF reference architecture mailing list. And how to reorganize. Okay. Um, and I just, oops. Yeah, here's the specific message. I just pasted it into um, the chat window. Yep. So uh, the RPC seems separate enough. And I guess I, I would kind of make the argument for the API gateways that those four, the open service broker API doesn't really belong there as uh, Chip pointed out, but that those four are all API gateways, which is like a real category. Right. Um, I don't know, I, I guess I, I'm, I might be up for just keeping service mesh and load balancer separate. And um, eh, I mean, the argument of combining them is that people are probably only gonna choose one from that whole group. You're not gonna do both Envoy 
and a load balancer. Um, and then we still have these last, there's, there's now going to be four and other, which is um, open policy agent, reactive interaction gateway stolen, and uh, the open service broker API. I think this makes a lot of sense. When I saw this email, I thought it made perfect sense. Great. Okay, so then I might just call other. Um, do we want to have like a policy uh, term? Do we want to have like a policy category? We think about other. The only thing in the other so that we, I'm not I'm not happy with is OPA because I kind of feel like OPA and this whole field of policy might become a lot more critical. Oh, I'm totally happy with it being. My rule has sort of been. I think the smallest category we have right now is four which is source code management. Mm -hmm. So I, I've sort of been hesitant to create a category with just one thing in it. Um, but changing the subject a little, if you go down to key management and to secure images, mm -hmm. those aren't, um, uh, those aren't, uh, some of those are semi-policy related. Right. I haven't, I mean, Grafaeus is maybe the Bias, yep. closest one to it. Yep. But, uh, you know, a simpler one would just be to call it security, to rename secure images to security. Security, right. And then throw OPA in there. And then, you know, I'm totally open to splitting up security or calling it, you know, breaking it out more in the future. Right. What do you think? That would make sense. No, I think that makes perfect sense. Okay. Um, I just need to make a couple notes here as we're going along. Uh, ref arch secure images to secure. Um, so my my takeaway here, Ken, is that uh, is that any um, thing that we change will generate criticism from someone and right. also not changing anything will generate criticism from someone. Right. But my suggestion is that we go ahead and go forward with these changes. And then when people complain, we ask them to come back to the mailing list exactly. and um, propose an alternative. And right. I mean, we're just, we're literally trying to publish a new version of this every month. So right. we're just not that locked in to a, any of these decisions. And I, I mean, I, I know some people feel this way, but I just don't see the categorization or taxonomy question as being li life or death. I don't either. Um, okay, so uh, if we moved OPA down, I guess, are you familiar with um, either the stolen or the reactive interaction gateway and where those might go? I'm looking them up right now. Yes, I was trying to, I was thinking about those as well and I do not know if they would, let me look and see if I can figure out where they would go. Yeah, because stolen is cloud native PostgreSQL high availability. I'm willing to just throw that yeah, one storage. over in the, this, well, no, I was gonna say the database one. The database one, yeah. Because that's where Rook is. Yeah, it, um, it goes with And then Rook. the last one, yeah, it was the reactive interaction gateway. And I think that can um, just go in the service mesh one. Yeah, I think it's, it, it's, mesh. Um, it's I mean, it's essentially an API for service mesh. Yeah. Okay, so that actually solves it. I mean, I'm going to do an email and announce that change. Oh, sorry. And then the last one that's tricky is the open service broker API. Um, and we've been so looking at that as like a, to uh, say, sorry, go ahead. No, uh, uh, Chip's not very helpful here. He says, open service broker API isn't an API gateway. I was going to suggest service discovery, but it doesn't do runtime service discovery or even touch data path. Looking at the other categories, it feels like other may be the best option. That or service catalog becomes a category. See, everybody always wants their own category because exactly. everyone's a snow. Every project is a snowflake. They're all special. I okay. 
I would, how about if we throw it in application definition and image build? Because it's a that's, way I of to, I was about to say defining that exactly applications. Blocks. Yep. Great. Yep. And integration uh, to, uh, to applications. Too. Yeah. And actually, that's now that I look, it's already there. So we're it's not, like Helm. no, no, that's open API. Sorry, that's different. Uh, Helm, Helm is very similar. Yeah. It has some similar capabilities to the Open Service Broker API, too. Okay. So this is utterly fantastic. So I'm yeah. going to go ahead and yeah, announce this to the list and see how much um, pushback we get and then try and have it in the next and then look at pushing it on the next uh, version. While I have you for a few more minutes, though, and also for the for the uh, Volk and other folks on the call, I'd love for you to look down at the host management tooling, infrastructure automation, and private cloud. So the host management slash tooling, isn't that really just config management? That's how it's normally described with caps of, you know, Chef, Ansible, Puppet, Salt Stack. Right. But the question is, isn't Bosch sort of the same thing? Isn't AWS Cloud Formation the same thing? Yeah, I don't know. If Some ways isn't Terraform the same thing. Separate them, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I guess I would throw out the idea of coming up with some general category for all of them and then smooshing together both of these and the private cloud ones underneath. And so I guess you could say like I mean, automation not, and configuration, right? Uh, automation and configuration, sold. Um, and I'm not sure if we really need, I was, I was, I'd forgotten when we added cloud to this, I don't know if we really need like cloud in here uh the fact that the public cloud is here yeah public and private in there i'm not sure if we really well really the private ones it. i'm arguing all belong up in the same category so i okay. I'm, I'm suggesting yeah. that we just eliminate the private cloud or merge it in just the public up, cloud bluntly Usually. is just a stop to our members right they yeah, really so I like move all, I think listed there five out of private and move them up to the new category above, I think that would be perfect. Great, and then, um, okay, well that's actually spectacular. So the only I'm thing gonna that go really ahead fit well and, is like OpenStack, but that's just because it's OpenStack. Yeah, to, to be honest, it sort of does. I mean, you can actually install OpenStack and then put Kubernetes on top of it. it it's yeah. such pain, you'll want to shoot yourself in the head, <laughs> but it, 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 it is an actual option. Yeah. you could you could go do um, okay so um i like that that makes it a lot cleaner so i i think we could actually stop there i don't think i have any other um ones that i'm particularly eager to change right now and like the serverless working, the serverless one we just redid a month or two ago, and people there seem relatively happy with it. Yeah, they were. Um, so I, I would love to be able to just move this to the mailing list and um, and go forward with it. But um, I mean, the, the key thing that I'm going to be looking for is for people to suggest concrete alternatives, not um, saying, "Oh, I don't like that." Uh, Taylor, Chris, do you guys want to interject anything here? <clears throat> the only thing that comes to mind, um, I remember when a company package cloud reached out, they were kind of a manage binaries and all this other crazy stuff. And, uh, we said no to them. Um, I don't remember that to be honest. Uh, that? let me just see if I can find their issue we're up to um i'm just trying to remember yeah, all the people that we said, said no to 720 yeah 
721 issues now. Um, so I have trouble to, mem mem to, remembering <laughs> everyone. T Taylor's plan um, compliance and compliance management is interesting too. So, yeah. Okay, but be more specific now, Chris. So, I, uh, so if we had a compliance, we could move Grafeus out. So remember, we're going to rename to secure images yeah. to security. Yeah. And so then Grafeus fits better there. Yeah. Um, and I mean, we're just somewhat arbitrarily splitting out key management from security on the theory that there's enough key management projects to deserve its own category. And I, I'm kind of fine with the idea that we can keep splitting out new things mm -hmm. out of, out of security over time. But, um, and sorry, and then we're moving open policy agent down into security, but is, are there other changes you'd like to see? And Chris, you heard earlier that we talked about putting chaos underneath tracing. Uh, underneath, yeah, okay, in the observing analysis. Yeah, I'm, I'm more open to that now. It makes right. more sense because it spans network storage, blah, 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 so yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the one that I'd love to keep coming back to are, is are there existing categories we can split up in an intelligent way into subcategories? But I'm not immediately seeing one. Like the database one is huge now, but there's just not an obvious split in it. And the streaming one is big. CICD is a bit of a um, Yeah. So, uh, Ken, can you please give us your pro official pronouncement on the RPC question where we're going to have Apache Thrift, Avro, gRPC, and Netflix ribbon? Should it go on the app de definition development um, row or on the orchestration and management row? I'm still thinking orchestration and management, but I'm willing to have my opinion changed if Chris. No, no, that, that's great. Don't agree. I, yeah, I just don't think there's anything magic about it. Chris, do you have a view? Uh, I, I, I'd leave it for it where it is now. I, I could definitely see it fitting an app okay. definition, but um, I'd leave it as where it is now. Great. Um, okay, well, I'm going to write up this uh, right now before I forget it all and um, send it to the list and give it a week or more to percolate. Um, but this is actually everything I was hoping to accomplish with this working group. And so I, I'd really just, or it's not even a working group, this mailing list. Cool. So I, I'd really like to just keep it open and allow people to come back and complain and say how we're doing it all wrong and need to, mm -hmm. to move it around. But um, I, we can even see if we need to do, if we have enough new stuff piled up to do this call next month. I might take a to the mail list. Chris? We'll get some of yeah. these other categories, and if we want to try to break them down to your, you know, to your point, some of the categories that have a lot in them. If there's any way we can mm -hmm. segment them into, you know, not one or two, but you know, if we have a grouping of like four or five, we can group into a certain subcategory. We can we can take a look at that in the yeah. next month. Sure, but it's also not the end of the world to have a big category. Um, nope, I mean, not. I do think the, it largely works. Okay, so let me try again. Taylor, Watson, Chris, Lucy. The only, so the only one that I was saying was uh, some type of compliance category where you could put OPA and um, all the other ones. I listed a few open. W what SCAP. else besides OPA? Open SCAP, the Oracle policy automation, which is under key management. Um, could be moved under a compliance area instead hmm. of keep it's it's a compliance type of thing as their their bigger deal turn enforcement and then black duck is a license enforcement that could be moved from secure images to a compliance those four um i haven't gone through all of yeah. them yeah but. well but we're going to rename secure images to security mm -hmm. and so then the question is just is it worth 
splitting out a compliance from security. And also, if we do call it security, it, Oracle policy also does key management, right? I believe so. Or, okay, so you're saying OPA, um, OpenSCAP, OPA, Black Duck. Yeah, OpenSCAP, Black Duck, Oracle Policy. I'm sure there's others under there I'd need to go through. And yeah, Ancor maybe also potentially fits there because they do their registry plus policies. I would think of poli um, compliance as a, a complement to security versus security. So like Chef, you can... Well, that's, yeah. It's a configuration but compliance, it, but, which is yeah. What's left in here after we we pull out all the compliance ones? So notary and tough aren't compliance. Um, twist lock is is image scanning, and so is Claire, and so is Aqua. Okay, I think I'm going to need to go do some research to uh, sure. to follow up on that one. But it's a fair question. Um, and um, then potentially the service management, there may be some stuff to break out. Uh, Watson noted some of them are communication protocols like Thrift, uh, the gRPC. Um, so we could potentially have something that's, if someone's just looking at protocols for integrating between. Well, yeah, we're gonna create a new category called RPC. Okay. You might've missed that, where it's gonna be Apache, Thrift, Avro, gRPC, and Netflix Rip. I did, I missed that. Okay, RPC. Um, What do you think, oh, Watson? Do you got any thoughts on other communication yeah. protocols? So the, the one other question was um, uh, uh, service mesh and load balancer. Should we combine the two of them together? My, my justification for combining them is that people are likely only going to choose one. You're not going to use Nginx and Envoy. The argument, um, but then there's also the question of what do we call it then? For example, should we call it service mesh and load balancers? <laughs> Any views? I don't really think of this as the same, but I'm just trying to think of it from both sides. I think because I'm dealing with the NSM stuff on the CNF, it doesn't really, I don't think load balancer, but my view may be biased right now. In the, some of the wording where they separate things by ingress, like saying the communications that are coming in and the service mesh kind of handles all of it, but low balance is kind of like ingress. So if it was like service mesh, um, ingress and low, low balance goes under that or something like that. They do seem to me more the same than separate. Okay, I didn't get the thought you're proposing. So you're I saying service like mesh would be an ingress would be two separate subcategories, something like that, or ser service mesh and what it the, the subcategory under service mesh could be how the community ingress being one, so load balance handling that. Um, but and then it's kind of like separating by the problem that it solves. No words. Right, but the the challenge is that Envoy tends to solve all everything. Right, and they're just service mesh, right? So, Ken, Chris, 
Yeah, like we talked about earlier, I like separating them out, but that's just, I mean, I'm open to pulling them back together. That's great. Let, let's keep them mm -hmm. separate. Um, they can, people can have fights on what they are. Sounds good to me. Unless someone okay. has like a I'm gonna say, uh, that it needs to be different. I yeah, think that's, that's a great. starting point. Yeah. Looking I'm, at, I'm looking the proposal at the by email. policy agent and I'm not seeing anything about key management. Uh, it, yeah, that's why we're going to put it under security, not under key management. Yeah, I think it belongs under security. Yeah. I was just double checking it for you. But it, it arguably would go under compliance if we had a separate compliance company. Yeah, and it's... That was the debate. That was the debate. That makes perfect sense. Okay, let's stop there. Really appreciate getting the feedback. Cool. Yeah. Take care. This Dan, is, is it possible to have subsets of these categories? So like the compliance, you were saying that's kind of under security and stuff. If if we add no, those, then it's just a simple okay. answer. We just don't okay. want to add a third subcategory, a third tier. We can we can yep. do secure image secure yeah, security and then next to it have compliance, but we don't want to subdivide even further. I mean, obviously anything's okay. possible, but just in the interest of trying to keep things clean and easy to work with. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye now. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye.